At number 10 is the Mauna Loa volcano. Located in the Hawaii Islands, this is one of the five volcanoes that make up the island of Hawaii in United States. This is the largest volcano in the world in terms of volume. It holds 18,000 cubic miles of magma and it is at a height of 120 feet above the sea level. It was erupting for more than 700,000 years. The last volcanic eruption occurred in March 1984 and it lasted for more than 24 days causing heavy damage to the people and surrounding areas. Though they were not much explosive, the viscosity of their magma fluid will be very low. As the result, the movement of hot magma would be much faster compared to other volcanoes causing great destruction to the neighboring areas. At number 9 is the Tal Volcano. Being a part of the Philippines island, Tal Volcano is located on the island of Luzon. This volcano is located at the center position of Lake Tal which was formed as a result of heavy volcanic eruption. It is also known as Volcano Inside Volcano because the lake which surrounds the volcano was once the mouth of the volcano. Initially, this volcano was standing at a height of 18,000 feet and its earlier eruptions were responsible for restructure. Nearly 5,000 to 6,000 lives were lost because of this volcanic eruption till date. The last volcanic eruption occurred in 1977. Recently, it has started to show the signs of another heavy eruption. Therefore, Philippines Institute of Seismology has instructed the tourists and people not to visit this volcano closer. At number 8 is the Mount Merapi Volcano. Literally, Mount Merapi refers to the mountain of fire. The name confirms with its activities it has done for the past 10,000 years. It is located in the city of Yogyakarta, Indonesia. This city is the residence of thousands of inhabitants. It was the most active volcano among 130 volcanoes of Indonesia. Located at the fire of Pacific Ring, it has claimed more than thousands of lives. It was believed that this volcano was responsible for the demise of Hindu kingdom of Mataram. The range of velocity of flow of magma is 70 to 100 miles per hour. Last volcanic eruption occurred in the year of 2006. It claimed 130 lives and rendered more than 300,000 people homeless. At number 7 is the Saint Maria. It has been the most active volcano since the 20th century with numerous volcanic eruptions happened with these 10 decades. Located 130 kilometers away from the city of Guatemala, it is the Pacific Range of Fire. Crater in Saint Maria was formed after the heavy explosion in 1902. There has been a heavy dome complex named Senita Guto which was formed from the deposits of magma. Here, the volcanic eruption occurs due to the clash between Caucasus Plate and Caribbean Plate. The latest eruption occurred in March of 2011. At number 6 is the Ulawun Volcano. Ulawun, located in Papua New Guinea region, has started to erupt from the beginning of 18th century. From then on, it has erupted nearly 22 times. Of all these eruptions, the one which occurred in the year 1980 ejected ash up to 18 kilometers and devastated an area of nearly 20 square kilometers. Now this volcano is the highest peak among those in that region. It is assumed that it has reached its maximum limit and soon it would restructure itself by the eruption of magma. The last volcanic eruption occurred in the year of 2010 emitting ashes up to 3.7 kilometers. At number 5 is the Galerus. Galerus has been located near the border of Ecuador. One of the most active volcanoes in the Colombia region, this has been continuously erupting for more than 1000 centuries. The first volcanic eruption occurred in the year of 1580 as per official records. This is said to be the most dangerous volcano because of its unexpected volcanic eruptions in the past. Along the eastern slope of Galerus, the city of Pathos is located. Pathos is residence for nearly 450,000 people. It is claimed the life of six seismologists and three tourists who came to attend the Decade Volcano Conference held in the city of Pathos in 1993. From then on, volcanic eruptions happened every year, claiming thousands of lives and making millions of people homeless. The recent volcanic eruption happened in January of 2010. At number 4 is the Sakurajima Volcano. Till 1914, this volcanic mountain was located in a separate island. After this volcanic eruption, the lava flow connected the mountain with the Osumi Peninsula of Japan. 
it has been called as Vesuvius of East. It serves as the threat to 700,000 people of the city of Kagoshima. From the year of 1955, it has been erupting each year and there are nearly 7,300 eruptions since the last century. The government has even built the refugee camp for the people of Kagoshima so that they can take shelter during volcanic eruption. The government has even built the refugee camp for the people of Kagoshima so that they can take shelter during volcanic eruption. The last volcanic eruption happened in the year of 2009, claiming thousands of lives. At number 3 is the Mount Yiragongo. This is one of the most active volcanoes in the African region. Located in the Democratic Republic of Congo, it has erupting since 1882. The crater inside the mountain serves as the holder of magma fluid. When this crater got ruptured in the year of 1977, the whole magma fluid was drained within an hour and it paved its way to the nearby villages. The average velocity of the flowing lava would be 60 km per hour. Recent eruption happened in the year of 2002, making nearly 120,000 people homeless. The seismologists of Congo expect soon that there would be an eruption. At number 2 is the Mount Vesuvius. It is not only one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world, but also the most densely populated volcano in the world. This volcano is located at Campagnia, which is 5 miles away from the Naples. The city of Naples has a population of nearly 3 million people. This is the only most volcano of European region. It is responsible for the destruction of Roman Empire in 79 AD and during that period demolished the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. The recent eruption occurred in 1944. At the top is the Yellowstone Caldera. This super volcano is located beneath the Yellow National Park, United States. To your surprise, this volcano has not erupted for the past 640,000 years. A question arises, how this can be an active volcano then? It was said that before 640,000 years, this super volcano has erupted. This eruption blasted away mountains and drained the lava of the crate and covered half of the US with deadly ashes. It follows an eruption cycle of 600,000 years. Since now already 40,000 years had passed, the scientists expect that the eruption of this volcano at any time can occur. If this volcano erupts, it could possibly be the end of the world since it could result the eruption of other volcanic mountains as well. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more such videos.